Okay. We should be able to kill this thing. Yeah, it has one gun, essentially, and it's, like, down the main, the middle of it. So if you just don't stand in front of it, it kind of just dies. Okay. Oh, and you're really phased up, brother. I should be able to finish you off then. Maybe not. Maybe not. Some other folks are staring at me. Okay, not bad, not bad. Enemies over. All right, good stuff. I catch up with chat. Every person who loves battleships has one thing that is like it burns my eyes, and it's French pre-dreadnoughts before World War One. Literally tried making hotel block-looking ships into battleships, tipping over like a build if it looks start flooding even a little bit. Say hello to Titanic. I've never seen those. Oh, and thank you, Krill, for letting me know there's no weapons on it. Um, I didn't notice that until much later. If I had read that message, I would, I would, uh, maybe, maybe have done a little better there. Prince Pedreds are great. I'll have to, I'll have to look at them. I've never, I've never seen one, I think. I'll have to check it out. Okay, so that's, uh, plus 20. We're up to, like, 250, right? Yeah, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're really close to being done with, uh, with the Tritax stuff. Which I don't want to be doing anymore, so. Are you a Commerce Raider? No, you're just a Salvage Fleet. And how long until the Colony Threat happens? Yeah, it's gonna be a while, especially when this is gone. Um, when this is gone, it might actually go to the negatives, right? Because it's plus 19 and this is plus 29. Oh, but it's 0.5. I don't know. It'll still be positive. Um, we'll figure it out. The design choice is called is called the tumble home. Hmm. Like literally, it's called tum the tumble home. That's very funny. Because it's like such a brick, it'll just tumble along. Okay, repair, trade, or manage, whatever. Put this stuff in here, sort. Put this stuff away. Lots of stuff to put away. Lots of weapons, we'll put them all away. Oh, and not the blueprints, though. Sort, and those should be near the bottom. Yep. Okay, and we got lots of stuff. We really should colonize another planet. Oh, and I made commerce. Let's put that in there. Um, And my alpha cores, we should put those in as well. Like, might as well, you know? They're just chilling here, so... Okay, so let's go over to Arceus. And we'll make a bunch of money with this. More guns than the U.S. Army, like a primary, secondary, tertiary, going to like the hepatary batteries of different caliber of guns. That's very fun. That that sounds like, like a like just that era of like you know like warfare and ship building and like weapons building. It was like bigger is better. Um, you know we we hadn't reached the ideas that like you know maybe going smaller is better. You know like after a certain amount of size, you don't need more size. Like we hadn't like realized that yet, so. I think that's like a very goofy era of time when just stuff was just big. Yeah, like, you know, like the giant like cannons people were making that were like 800 feet long. Um, you know, they were just like immense for just immenseness sake. All right, and we'll, we'll do that. It's not it's not built yet, but we'll do that. And this will make a bunch of money when this is done. It'll go up to like 300K, so it'll be it'll be quite pog. Okay. I'll block some more guns in the USR. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that is new. New Year's Army's best makes French, pre, uh, French pre-dreadnoughts. That's cool. Tell that to King Gustav. Was he the king that made all the guns? Was King Gustav the one that was uh, making these giant boats? The huge ships of war? All right. Um, oh, and I only put one Alpha Core in. I probably could have put another one. Oh, we can put one here. Sure. There we go. Now we have one everywhere. 744. Not bad. Uh, manage the colony. No, I don't have anything to put away. Dockside bar. No. Um, oh yeah, ships. I think I have some I don't want. Like this. Um, do I have any weapons on here I need? No, I'm not gonna strip it down then. Um, cause I might want this ship later, so I'll just send it in as it is. You go like that. We'll build you, and do I want to send anything else away? I'll just put this thing away for now. We'll get it back out later. When we're, when we're interacting with the Knights of Lud. It's amazing. Oh, that was the, the, the giant gun? Oh, okay, okay. That was the, the massive weapon. Mini Breathe Pod. Cruise missile with low low yield nuclear warhead only deals single damage burst at a much smaller uh, area compared to semi breathe. Perfect to finish off small to medium targets. Okay, I don't know. Um, I'll probably do like this, the resonator, because it's cool. I feel like Mahogany the Spanish built entire mod out of Mahogany. Or out of Mahogany, that's fun. That's cute. I'm not I'm not much of a ship guy myself. I don't I don't love uh, like battleships. I don't hate them or anything, but my, my interest in, in um, history mostly, mostly exists within, like, ancient history. Oh, Ninparox beamers are going to go on here. I was like, what 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 weapon can I put that'll be good for point defense? Duh, Ninparox beamers, because they're good for other stuff, too. 
And we could put them on the back facing ones too. I just don't think we need to. So we'll put we'll put cheaper point defense on the back ones. Little mini blasters, that's fine. And then a large universal. Medium hybrid, medium energy, medium This is a weird ship. This is a very strange ship. The brown torpedo from Volkov looks lovely. The brown torpedo from Volkov. Oh, is it this one maybe? This one? I, I would agree, it looks cool. But I don't know if it was something else, but I like how that one looks. I like a lot of Volkov's ships and stuff. I think their artwork is lovely. Okay, so uh, we had the other one built with like UV pulse lasers, like these things, and that was pretty solid. Um, I think it wasn't terrible. Oh, I'll put another Ninparox here. Ninparox Beamer. There we go. And then Medium Hybrid Large Universal. I'll just do another one of those. That seems okay. Uh, and then in the large, I think I want to do a missile here so we don't spend more flux. semi brief launcher, large. Um, multiple burst weapon system, detonate at least three times, deal damage consecutively over a large area. It'll randomly deal up to 8,000 damage in the initial burst, followed closely by 1250 and 1250. Okay, that seems good. The Apocrypha Suicide Drone Swarmer. Launches 16 missiles around the main warhead, each dealing 150 fragmentation each. Generates flux to reload. Tenola de Distortion Torpedo. <clears throat> Max ammo 10. Reload size, so it reloads. What's it do? Uh, a bunch of EMP damage, too? Okay, I don't know. That seems fine. What about this thing? Lunar Rose, Merv. This thing's pretty solid. What if I put something slightly cheaper on here, though? So we're against exposed armor and hole. Yeah, sure. Rapid firing micro Mitchell designed to saturate and overwhelm the enemy's defenses. I don't know, man. This just seems cool. I'm gonna put that on because it, it seems fun. And then we'll start with. I kind of want the whisper song, but um, I, I I require fervor. I just think fervor is like like a hard like you have to have that essentially. So we'll do that. Because I don't want the ship to die, so we'll do that. Anti-everything torpedo balance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but honestly, I will say, uh, other than the semi breves the Aurora Federation, from what I've seen, seems actually pretty balanced. The semi breves and, like, these these dudes that, like, carry them are, like, maybe too strong. But um, other than that, it doesn't seem, like, super out of line. I love low-tech and junker stuff. Have you, uh, have you played with um, the Reuters? Is it Reuter Union? Or is it HMI? Is it HMI or Reuter? One of them, um, there's one mod out there where it's like junker ships. It's like a whole, the whole, I think it's HMI. Um, it's like a whole fleet of like junk, to, junk together ships. Not join Reuters, but have the mod. Oh, okay. I, I, I can't remember exactly what mod it is, but there's a mod that's very, very leaned into stuff like that. Like their, their ships are like, you know, like, like literal, like, you know, like salvage ships converted together and stuff. It's cool. Um, we've, we've used it before. But I can't remember which mod it is exactly. Hey, Cara Luna, how you be? How you be, Cara Luna? How's the world treating you? How's the world treating you, old Cara Luna? Now it's good to see Cara. How you doing? Oops, the new carrier from Imperial laughs from the corner. Yeah, I've yet to see the new carrier, but I've heard tales of it. I've heard tales of its power. Tic Tac Raider. Eh, you look like a commerce raider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll fight him. I don't really want to, but we will. Also, like, why is my deployments at 240 again? Is there something going on there? Or is that just a coincidence? I think it's just a coincidence, but it kind of feels like something's going on there. Okie dokie, macaroni. What? Be alive, indeed. Indeed, be alive. Be alive challenge. Difficulty, or degree of difficulty, easy. All right, so yeah, we got deployment points. So it's just a coincidence that I was at 244, or 240, uh, twice in a row there. We'll send in that, that's fine. Sure. Junkyard dogs, dude, Tio, you're exactly correct. I'm pretty sure that's exactly it. I was I was wrong. I don't think it was HMI. I think it's junkyard dogs. That's a good one too. Oh, did you already have that one? Oh, okay. I wanted to recommend it if it was maybe new for you. I, 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 it's because I just joined Blame Carluna. No, no, no. I will not blame Carluna. Ooh, the missiles are pretty, and they're popping off. Like there's a lot of them. I like them though. I think it was called like the Sakura missile, and I could see that it's got like like little little Sakura flowers flying around. They look like little Sakura leaves blowing in the wind. Don't kill me, please. That was a lot of flux. We're fine. 
That thing has LiDAR array, so I'm a little scared, but we're chilling. We're chilling. Also, is this like an Imperial fleet? Like these aren't these aren't Tritac ships. I think they hired these these guys from the Imperium. These are, these are not regular Tritachion ships, like at all. Kill that guy. Turn. Kill this guy. Hide. Use this guy to hide from the other ships. Ah, I'm gonna die. Okay, no, we're chilling. We're chilling. We made it out just in time. That was a little sus, but we made it out. What are you lightning striking me with, dude? That's like 40,000 meters away, brother. Like, pull your jets. That is way too far away to be hitting me. How are you not dead? Okay, there you go. I keep I keep running away like half a second before the ships die. It's like the third time in this battle I've done that. You running away? Where are you going? You're not running away from me, brother. Get back here. I don't even know why they ran away. The battle's not over yet. Okay, it's over now, but I don't know what they were running for. Um. Oh, these are Reuter ships? Oh, okay. Hmm, well, I don't know why they're here. I guess maybe they're just chilling. Where did our fleet go? And Quiz said calmly after the nuke launch. Gone. Reduced to atoms, indeed. Um. But yeah, I don't know why they, they were here either way. I don't know what, what Tritac has them for. I don't know. I guess they might have just hired a fleet. I don't know how the, the, the commerce raiders work. Uh, these are like good. I like calibers a lot. They're triple S modded. Flux, racks, armored weapon mounts. Racks, flux, flux. Yeah, sure. I'll recover them. Why not? Hey, Twitchy. How are you doing, Twitchy Buggy? Welcome on in. How you be today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's the world tweeting you? Tw tweeting you? <laughs> How's the world treating you, Twitchy? That got me, dude. That was totally unintentional. That That broke me. I, I haven't laughed at myself saying dumb things like that as hard as that in a long time. That was really good. How's the wheel tweeting ya? No, but seriously, how you doing, Twitchy? It's good to see you. Welcome on in. Um, and what am I doing? We're going to the abyss. That's what we're doing. We're going to the abyss. Um, yeah, I'll, let me just put a pause so I can shout out Twitchy. And if you don't know Twitchy, y'all should know Twitchy. They are a friend of our channel, but they're also a really good content creator. They play, uh, 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 what is the game? Stalker. They play Stalker. They play Star Sector. Um, I think they're playing Helldivers today, maybe? I feel like, I feel like they said they're playing some Helldivers today. I don't know. I can't remember. But check them out. If, you, if you're not following Twitchy, please do. They're a good friend of the channel. An independent tag is an ISS independent and don't raid you and have base independent worlds. Independent patrol for an independent world. No, so um the commerce raiders always have the independent tag. Um so that so that you can attack them and not anger Tritac. The commerce raiders are technically independent, but they're attached to the Tritachion thing, so they're generally Tritachion ships. Oh, and of course, of course, Twitchy. No problem. Yeah, so they're given the independent tag, but they're generally from Tritachion, I thought. Like like the the loadouts of the ships. What are you? Oh, it's Aurora. The the dark blue triangles. I'm always like, what is that? But it's just Aurora. We'll get used to it with time. We'll get used to it with time. Where are you? Grand invasion fleet. You're not invading me though, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah, we're chilling. We're we're fine. We're fine. Go invade someone, but just not me. And I love the purple blasters, or the pink blasters, whatever color it is. It's much much better than the standard blue. Yeah, orange or whatever. Yeah, that's that's not cool. Who wants orange when you could have pink instead? That's more fun. Okay. The abyss is really far away, man. I thought we were almost there. Oh, wait, is this their system? Is this where they live? Yo, let's pop in. They don't hate me, do they? Ah, almost. Let's not pop in. Um, I can't trade with them, so let's just leave. We, we, we'll come back with a bunch of prisoners to give them. Doesn't really make sense that we'd be giving them prisoners because they're from another Dad, dimension, partner. but whatever. We'll give them prisoners. Hey, Mad Pony. Welcome on in, Mad Pony. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the yogurt aisle. Get a bowl, get some fruit, and have a nice little snack. Thank you so much, Mad Pony. Do you have a strong enough fleet to fight any IBBs? Probably yes. That's actually what we're going to the abyss for, though. I want to get some whole alterations before we fight them. Um, I want to take on some some tough IBBs, though. That's that's the, the next goal. Unless something weird happens, like some storytelling stuff happens with, like, uh, Sierra or something. 
Uh, but but currently, the goal is to farm up some alterations so that we can go fight IBB bounties. Um, and we'll use this time to ensure, like, while we're here, we'll, we'll ensure we have enough EXP on all the ships and double S-mod them. Yeah, these have enough uh, EXP to S-mod it, so we'll, we'll start S-modding everything. How are you guys doing? Yeah, that's enough EXP for at least one. So we'll start S-modding stuff. Um, you know, I might even, like, go back and put another S-mod on this or something. I don't know. We'll see. But we're gonna we're gonna spend a lot of our story points and all the exp on our ships and stuff and uh probably go and fight some tougher bounties we're not gonna start right at yamato i'm just gonna put that out there i know yamato's you know wanted people people want me to do that one i'm gonna i'm gonna work my way up to it but we will fight yamato uh, at some point and we'll turn the gate on we'll use the gate when we leave but i just i'll, I'll just turn it on now anyways just to be sure and this is the RAT Abyss, the random assortment of things Abyss. It's very cool. Um, also, I don't know if I should tell you, but there's an IBB with a super... Oh, gets redacted. Gets killed or... Wait. I should tell you, but there's an IBB with a super Olympus gets killed redacted. Hmm? You, you can you can say whatever you... Like, you know, I'm, I'm confused there, but you can feel free to tell me what it is. You can spoil it or whatever. The only thing I didn't want spoilers for was secrets, because it was like storytelling. Uh, my game might have just crashed. I'm going to give it a minute. We haven't saved in a while, so I'm really hoping it didn't. Wait for the program to respond. Ah, I think I crashed the game. That sucks, man. And two IBBs show up on the same planet. We're in the same system. I've had that happen as well, Carluna. I've had three, actually, and it was very annoying. Open JDK platform binary is not responding. Do you think this is going to come back? Do you think the game is going to come back or is this dead? I think we're dead. I think this is a real crash. Oh, that sucks so bad. Close the program. Oh, no. Check how much your GPU is using. Um... It's fine. My GPU is at 40 degrees right now. It's fine. GPU is under no pressure. Um, it's, it's, it was, it's, it was, it was chilling. It was hard chilling. Um, so I don't know what happened there. I, I honestly, I think I do know what happened there. I, I went to my second monitor and then clicked back and forth a little bit. And that crashes the game sometimes for me. Um, like I clicked second monitor and then I clicked back on the gate and then I clicked second monitor again. And I think that crashed it. When did we save? Not that long ago, but long enough ago that I'm not happy with it. Long enough ago that I'm upset we have to go back and do it again. Um, but that's okay. And um, this is going to be like awkward for YouTube, so I'm going to have to do a YouTube intro here and be like, hey, the game crashed, so uh, we're loading back to whenever I last saved. Um, so we'll, we'll do that in a moment. I'll let YouTube know what's up when we're loaded in here. So that sucks, but hopefully it's not too far back. Hopefully it's not too far back. Shouldn't shouldn't be too too problematic. All right, so we're going to um, we're going to uh, do a YouTube intro. Sorry. So yeah, uh, welcome back to Quiz Play Star Sector. It's still the same day as the last episodes. My game just crashed, so we have to go back in at my previous save, and I don't know exactly where my previous save was. Basically, I figured out how the Miko uh, the micro the Miko system works. Okay. It's very impressive. That's cool. I, I don't know anything about coding, but that's Pog. Um, I, I have no idea how it works, but I'm happy to hear it's it's very impressive. It seems impressive. It's it's like very smooth. Like it runs really well. I know we just crashed, but that's, you know, that's a rare thing. So where are we at in terms of stuff? How's the fleet looking? Do you have solar shielding on you? Okay, you have solar shielding. We have the two of these. We have these guys. We have three of these, or four of these. Ah, Void Wretch is still here. Okay. Um, We have the monitor. How much EXP do we have on these guys? Okay. Some, not much. Adjust the settings in the background while the game is running. Taking changes into consideration. IRL. Very smart code. That's cool. I declare that if I'm elected yogurt secretary, I will outlaw crashes. Do I wish. Check the VOD for the dance and scripted fights. I'm glad you enjoyed it. They added the song, which I didn't have when I played. Dude, the song was so pretty, wasn't it, Lucy? Thank you for checking the VOD, by the way. That's very cool. Um, the, the, I really liked the song. I thought it was very lovely. I tried not to talk too much. 
um, which is tough for me because I, I talk constantly. But I tried to shut up a little bit while I was going off. Oh, and you know what's so funny, Lucy? You didn't even have to check the VOD. We're about to run it back. But actually, you know, you don't get my, my first impression of it because, like, this time I've already been there. We're going to spam through it this time. But we, we're going to go straight back there. That's what we're doing now. So we'll go back and get that taken care of. Um, I should I should do the escorts. I was going to not do it, but that's lazy. We should always do the escorts, even if it's not necessary. It's a good habit to be in. Um, but, yeah, so we're going to go back to the other uh, planet. It seems like we saved uh, before we went to the planet. Oh, we went to kill as well. Yeah, whatever. You know what? Kill wasn't part of secrets, and I thought it was, so we can just go back there later. That's fine. Um, we, we can go we can go do that as part of the Knights of Lud stuff when we're actually doing Knights of Lud, so that works out. That's fine. That wasn't the plan, but it works out. Not like this. Yeah, a little bit of not like this energy, but... You know what? We saved kind of recently, and it's my fault for not saving more frequently, so... I'm choosing to not be very frustrated about it because it's my it's my fault. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be sad, but you know, accept it. Why am I letting this Aurora shoot me? By the way, why wouldn't I just hide behind it? I don't know. I don't know what the play was. Just letting the Aurora shoot me. We'll, we'll blast this guy. He'll die eventually. The Aurora will go down. All right there we go. And last time we did this fight, the Aurora was not recoverable. Maybe it's recoverable this time, you know? Maybe we got a triple S modded Aurora out of it. Same night as the Twilight Water Maid. No, no, no. The, the Knights of Blood love yogurt. They love the yogurt culture. They're respectful and kind. But we will, I, I think after we take on some IBB bounties, which again, we're a little bit set back here, so we're a little ways off from where we were. But um, after we take on some IBB bounties, I think I do want to engage with the Knights of Blood. Um, it just seems cool. It seems like it could be a fun time. And we'll kill this thing. I don't know why it's not shielding me, but there you go. It's, it's dead now. Are we deathballing? Nah, you're just slow as hell? Yeah, it's just slow as hell. Okay. That's fine. I mean, it sucks, but it's, I didn't want you deathballing, so just be slow. That's fine. Are we on 2x speed? Yeah, let's go 2x speed. We can we can finish this fight on 2x for sure. Alright, not bad. Claim victory. Pursue them, send command. Yada, 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 yada. Ship recovery? Yo, it actually did come back this time. Um, It has missile racks, though. Dude, I don't love when they put missile racks on it. Um, It has ITU and hardened shields, though, which are, like, fine. So I'll take it. Sure. We'll recover it. Okay. Um, we'll we'll chase down the the following raiders or the remaining raiders because it should be a couple more commerce points, you know, with with Tritachion or whatever. Yeah, plus two. We'll take it. What do you have to two twenty nine? Yeah, so it's it's not like too far off where we were in terms of the uh, the commerce raiders at least. Here's more commerce raiders, so I'll fight these guys as well. I meant to join the battle, not leave. That's my bad. Just a misclick. We'll go all in. That's fine. All right, sir, I will forever seek vengeance for what the Luddic path did to the... I always forget the Luddics did gank up on Mayasura, right? Um, like, they, the Mayasura got, like, ganked by Hegemony and the Luddics. I always blame the Hegemony for it, but but the Luddics did it, right? They were they were also part of that. Luddics were part of it? Yeah, so, yeah, we could we could do a, a Mayasura playthrough at some point where we fight the Luddics. Mayasura against Luddic playthrough. That could be fun. Or, like, try to take out their planets. Re reestablish the Maya Surin Navy as the, the optimal navy for this sector. You know what's crazy? Last time we did this fight, I killed this guy with that guy behind him, too. I literally killed that Gemini while I was being hit by the, the, the Zenith's Paladin. It was like a weird little bit of, like, deja vu. When I ran up and did that, I was like, whoa, I've done this before. We, we had the exact same positioning. Um, just like a coincidence or whatever, but I don't know. It was weird. It was weird to have it happen. And it's like the two Invictus. I can I can break this guy's engines, and then turn to this one and break this guy's engines. I didn't mean to shove that Zenith, by the way. I booped him like really far. That was totally unintentional. Right, not that far, I guess. It looks like it looks like a uh, Void Wretch caught him. The old Void Wretch caught him. It, like you know, picked up the uh, pass or whatever. What's left to fight? 
There's literally nothing here. There's genuinely nothing on the screen. What am I fighting then? Okay, there we go. They just had to do the thing. That's fine. We told the LUDs that they were their evil technology in there. I mean, they probably did. Death Bomb the World was in Hegemony moved in. Okay, that's cool. This very prosperous world of Moriath that had hundreds of millions of people on the path killed everyone by pushing their huge space stations into the planet. Wow, that's wild. Time to dip, my dudes. Thank you for being here, Winter. I hope you had a lovely uh, time watching the CS today. Um, I don't know if you were watching that with your friends. I know you mentioned before you had, like, watch parties. I don't know if you were doing that with them or just solo, but I hope you enjoyed the CS, bro. Um, tournaments don't come through that often. They're pretty frequent, but, you know, it's not every day. So I hope you had a good day. hope you had a nice day watching. Probably similar to Chico, and it was all dead. It was a Cadia moment. What's a Cadia moment? If I can't ask that, I don't, if the answer is not appropriate, please don't answer. But I don't know what a Cadia moment is. The star is there. Yeah, the star is still there. Okay, so we did, I think we didn't lose that much time, honestly. I think we saved like pretty recently. You no, know, the one that was intended to dance with the another AI was within a similar AI to Syria. Just let's say she had the bad ending while Syria was left in intact. You saved her. Something to know. The one that initiated the dance was another AI similar to Sierra. Let's just say she had the bad ending while Sierra was left intact until you saved her. Hmm. Hmm. Is this all lore you can, like, get? Oh, Katie is from Warhammer. Okay. Um, I'm assuming it got blown up. I'm assuming Katie was blown up. Oh, and of course, dude. Of course. I'm happy to stream. Um, but you as well. Take care, Winter. I'll see you around, buddy. He's joined by Chaos by blowing off the planet, pushing a giant fortress into the planet. That's cool. I mean, it's not cool for them, but it's cool to hear about. <laughs> you know, I like it's it's fun lore. I'm sure they're not so happy about it, but I'm happy about it. That's cool sounding. And I don't know much about Warhammer. That's the Roran uh, expedition. We already we already dealt with this. I forgot we need to redeal with it. Um, I don't know much about Warhammer, but what we've learned we've learned from uh, Rogue Trader, and it seemed cool as hell, man. I really enjoyed Rogue Trader. We didn't play that much, but I really enjoyed what we did play. I would like to play more. Um, I'm just busy. I don't know if it's a game I would stream more of, but I want to beat the game. Like, I want to play it. The, the systems were really fun. The story seemed good. I love Owlcat. They're one of my favorite devs, so I, I do want to finish Rogue Trader. The planet broke before the guard did. Kadia stands. The guard shall not fall today. That's funny. That's cool. I, I really like Warhammer stuff like that. Like how their planet literally was like ripped in half or whatever, but the guards still stood. Like, they're still, you know, defending it. That's Pog, man. That's Pog. That's the level of dedication you only get from, from soldiers deep in the Warhammer, uh, Warhammer um, setting. Standard soldiers aren't that passionate. When their planet gets cracked in half, they just go home. They just say, fine, you win, I'll leave. But not Warhammer. Not the crazy, crazy folks in Warhammer. Where is this planet? Okay, it's just over there. Let's go for X speed. Let's let's speed it up. A little framey, but let's speed it up. All right. And we know what to do here now, so it won't it won't be his stuff. We got fight even the plan was breaking apart everywhere around them, and it's uh, called arms called Cadia stands. That's cool. I might have to steal that and say Cadia stands sometime. Um, and this is different. These are different ships, uh, like loadouts or blueprints than last time. Um, just RNG, I, I, I suppose, like what, what spawned there, but I thought maybe it would be exactly the same. But they are different, so. Uh, distress signal. Oh, dude! I wonder if this works, because the AI ship, like Sierra's, like, sister ship that, that we kill or whatever, or that died, that we get to see. Um, I wonder if, if they did a distress call, and that's why this works, because it's like we're, we're being pulled into their distress call, like, back in time. Um, I, I, I bet. I bet that's what's going on. Can I skip this? No? All right, that's fine. Um, of course. And this is really cool. We've just, we did this about five minutes ago, so I'm less interested into it this time than I was last time. We'll go to X speed. The fight's not tough either. This fight's easy, so we'll get this going. What other ship do we have that did the teleporting or the splitting apart? Did we pick up the other ship that did that? The one the one from Kill we don't have anymore, but there was another one that I'm worried about, or wondering about, really. Not really worried, just just curious. Of. I'm gonna die. Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. Okay, and I wanna I wanna take them out first, because they're really scary, like they're quite powerful. 
Okay, they, they faded. Let's go. They were banished to whatever. I don't know. I don't really understand where they were banished to, but they've been banished. That's all I know. Yeah! The, the sucking noise. Like someone breathed in. By the way, if you click no, the optional simply disappears, so you have to dance. Oh, really? You can, you can actually click no? I would never click no, because, like, I just, like, how could you turn down the offer? It's so interesting. Um, but that's fun. If you click no, you actually, like, fail the quest. That's very fun. I like that a lot. I, I really enjoy, like, games that are willing to be, like, you know, you just, you didn't want the quest, then you don't get it. I like that a like quite a lot. Like like New Vegas, where like if you kill Caesar, you can't join the Legion. Like you get to actually kill Caesar and stuff. Like I think stuff like that's really cool. Okay, what's left? Oh, there's like a couple things up there. We'll kill him. And these don't fade away. It's 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 there's like a storytelling moment going on here. Everything else banishes, but these actually explode. And they're low tech. It's it's almost like they, they can't phase out. Everything else was high tech, so I don't know. That's why I love 40k, not because of the big boom weapons and super soldiers, uh, simple men and women who change the who charge to fight the horrors of the universe doing so. Yeah, 40k has got some really cool lore. I like it a lot. I mean, having the no option to remove itself. Oh, I see, lol. Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.